friends, and welcome to my crafty space. My name is Crystal, and in today's video, I am going to be doing an unboxing and a project planning process video for the latest Allie Edwards Stories by the Month release. Now, this month's release is April-themed, so this is going to be for telling stories in April, but it doesn't have to be just for April, as you will see when we get into the planning process part of this video. So first, let me show you what all comes in this kit. The kit this month comes with five different four by six cards. So one says, always find time for the things that make you feel happy to be alive. This one has some raindrops and it says every little thing is going to be all right or is going to be all right. April looks like this. April joys repeated with five spots for journaling and then this daisy floral pattern. Then we've also got a set of three by four cards. So this one has some hands with a heart in the middle and it says loving kindness for the win. We have right now with this multicolored rainbow like brush stroke looking pattern here. Home sweet home giving thanks for this life right now. This one is a pattern that's got some birds on it. Let's see if I can hold it up there you guys can see it. This one says clean it up and clear it out. And then we've got lovely little things right now, finding beauty in the middle of it all, and the darkest nights produce the brightest stars. So those are our journaling cards. In addition to the cards, you also get a set of chipboard stickers. This one includes heart shapes, and then some of these uh, rectangular, almost banner type shape, uh, one circle, and then one of the um, hexagon, no, polygon. I always get that wrong. I think it's a hexagon, but I could be wrong about that. Anyway, one of those shapes that says, this little story has my heart, new routines, finding beauty, adore this season, super thankful for this, Easter story, bring on the blooms, and more. Then we've got a set of tiny phrase stickers here that are white with black text. The stamp set that has that same pattern from the card that says loving, uh, loving kindness, what is this? Loving kindness for the win. We also have a floral pattern where you could layer the flower with the centers. April looks like this. Spring loves and that lovely little things right now. And then the last thing that this kit comes with are nine of these cork circles. So some of them have sentiments like right now, and then other ones have these floral patterns. So we have right now in my story, along with this big floral, then we've got today and then two florals. And then we have yes, love this, and one more floral, uh, floral print on top of the cork circle. So that is what comes in this month's kit. Now what I'm going to do is put you guys on fast forward. I'm going to grab over my planning sheets here and we are going to set to work getting some stories planned. My goal is to get at least two stories and then one packet of materials that I can use for Project Life. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, friends. So once I get my space cleared off here, we're going to go ahead and get into the planning process for this kit. Now, one of the things I really like to do when I am working within the confines of a kit like this is to figure out first what I'm going to do with the pieces that are the hardest to work with. So for me this month, I was uh, drawn to these cork circles because I really liked them but at the same time, I also was racking my brain for how I could use them in spreads that would make sense for me and the stories that I could tell. So the first thing that I did was I put a pile of four of them up in the upper right hand corner because I have some older cork circles. I think I only have one left from the uh, basics collection from Allie. I think that was last year, maybe the year before when that came out. And it had these cork pieces that were painted. So they had half of the cork circle with paint on top. And 
what I loved about that is I could do the same thing. I could replicate that by turning those around and then painting on the back of them and using one for each of our family members to tell a story about us currently right now. So the four went up into the upper right hand corner because I knew right away that was a story I wanted to tell. Then as I was looking through the cards in this kit, I was really drawn to the card with the daisy florals all over it. I really love the idea of going back into my pictures from last year and pulling out the photos from our yard. So the flowers that bloomed in our yard, some of the plants that grew in our yard, and doing a spread to just remember those times of the year and get excited for that to come again because right now our backyard is covered in snow. So I think it would be really fun to just find some old pictures from last year of our garden and use those to create a spread. Then I also really loved the card that said lovely little things right now and I loved it paired with the bird pattern and then the pattern uh, that said love and kindness. So those, because the love and kindness had a circular pattern to it, I thought one of the things I could do was to punch that card into a circle and then maybe also punch the pattern into a circle and create some kind of circle cluster that can go on top of a photo. So that is an idea I'm mulling over right now as well. And then I have a pile up to the upper left-hand corner there that can go to Project Life for April. And then I also have two extra cards that I set out that talk about like everything is going to be okay. So there's the one with the, uh, they could be teardrops, they could be raindrops, whatever it is. Uh, and, and that one says every little thing is going to be all right. And then there's also the card that says the darkest, the darkest nights produce the brightest stars. And I loved that card sentiment as well paired with every little thing is going to be all right. So for now I have those paired together. Um, I am struggling a little bit with like what kind of design do I want to do here? What kind of story could I tell with this product right now? Uh, and then I'm going to set it down and come back to it later. So once I've got my planning sheets all out and designated to their story for this month, everything it looks like is going to be basically a six by eight. You will see though that I will end up making some portions six by eight and some portions three by eight because sometimes I like to pair those two sizes together. Now my planning sheets, in case you're wondering, I do give those away for free. They're just something that I made for myself and so I have them in a Dropbox file and there's a link down in my description box that you can go and click on and go download those for yourself if you want to give this planning process a try. So now we're going to get into the sketching of the ideas. I love to sketch things out so that when I come back to them later, I remember what my train of thought was and it helps me to more easily tell my stories. So for this first one I'm going to do a full page photo and then I'm going to add all those circular elements either to the bottom or to the side of that photo. And then um, on the opposing side or right next to it, I will do a three by eight and then add the title up at the top and put my journaling in there. And I just want to talk about for that spread, I want to talk about the story of like little things that make life lovely. That is what that sentiment really kind of made me made me think about as I was looking at it. Is what makes life lovely right now that might not be something big, but could be something small. The next story I'm going to tell is using those large cork pieces. So I took three of the biggest ones and then one of the next biggest one because I figured you know, scale-wise, it could probably still be fine. And I'm going to paint half of them, is my, is my intention here, and then cut those circles in half. And then use one half at the top of, uh, of a three by four photo and use the other half at the bottom of a three by four journaling card and have those go together. So then it strips of like Aaron, me, Isabella, Jonah. And then I want to ask our family members five things that make them feel most alive, that make them feel really excited about life right now. So I, um, I paired it with the journaling card that said, you know, that sentiment on it. And I figure I'll put a photo on the back of that and just have that punched and directly put into the album in between. 
This one right now is the uh, one where I want to talk about plants and flowers. So I want to use the cork circle there as the O in the word grow. And then I'm thinking I'll do the word grow going vertically down a three by eight photo or down a, you know, a three by eight side there. And I can do that in Photoshop. And then I'm going to pair this with a two by two sheet or two by two page protector where I can add the pattern into the pockets with a heart chipboard sticker on top. And then in the other, <laughs> the other squares, I'll put pictures of the flowers from our garden. So that is the third story I have here to tell. Next, I'm going to bring over this every little thing is going to be all right spread again and um, <laughs> just stare at it here for a while, really, really trying to think about how can I use this to tell a story because this really lends itself to telling a story about maybe something that isn't going your way, maybe changes that are happening that you feel nervous about, um, you know, things like that where, where you can talk about that everything's going to be okay. Maybe it's a pep talk that you want to write to yourself. Ultimately, I will decide to just forego this story and add the product into other places. So I took the heart, added that one into the flower story, and then I am just going to add this journaling card and, and the other one into my Project Life supplies. So next, I'm going to grab over one last uh, planning sheet here. And this one, I'm just going to write on it, Project Life, and then figure out what week I want to use this in. And then um, I'm going to lay out everything that's going in here so you can see it. So I've got five of those three by four cards, three of the four by six cards, and then a few pieces of chipboard. I may not end up using all of those in the spread, but um, you know, when that happens, if that happens, then whatever's remaining can just go into my stash or I might be able to, at that point, pull out some of those pieces and tell a different story based on life events that have happened since this time of planning. So we'll package this up and slow back down. All right, friends. So that gives me a total of three stories that I can tell with this with this kit in addition to a full week of Project Life. So I am definitely feeling excited to get some of these stories told. I'm thinking I may start with this right now spread just because I feel really excited about making this with our family. And then I may also go ahead and put together the Grow story as well using pictures from last year. Um, really, all three of these stories could be told before April ever gets here, which is kind of nice. Um, since I have this kit far in advance of April, so it lets me tell some stories with this. But then it also is just a really pretty spring kit to document whatever happens, hopefully good things in April of this year. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this planning process and I hope that it gives you some ideas of how you can use this kit to tell your own stories. I um, am going to be putting together one of these spreads today. So you can check out that process video here on my YouTube channel as well. And then I will be back again next week to do my regularly scheduled content. So a story on Monday, Project Life on Wednesday, and Story Kit Crush on Friday. So hopefully I will see you then. Until then, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will catch you all next time.